guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I am wearing right now this was a requested look because it's the same uh, makeup that I was wearing on my uh, April or my March April yeah my April BoxyCharm unboxing if you guys haven't seen that video I will leave it linked down below but just to let you guys know this is so quick and simple like there's really not much to it it just looks really put together because of the lipstick which feel free to totally change up the color this is kind of like a universal look which means you can play up the lipstick to your liking so with that said i hope you guys enjoy this video this is a talk through so let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos by giving me a thumbs up and until next time i will talk to you guys soon bye so I already have my eyebrows done, so I'm going to move straight to priming my eyes. And I don't know if you can see my skin, but I have, oh my gosh, look at this. I am allergic to something and I'm trying to figure out what it is. I have been trying some new skincare products and I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure. And ugh, I am like full of granitos all over my face. So please do not mind them so today I'm going to switch it up a little bit and for my primer I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear um, because this is an anti uh, wrinkle anti wrinkle and anti creasing um, concealer it's also going to work as a primer and I'm going to take a synthetic brush and I'm going to apply that all over the eyes So now that I've done that, I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. And today I will be using the Wet n Wild Vinyl Collection Palette. This is limited edition and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go in with this color right here. It doesn't have a specific name, but it's just a very creamy matte eyeshadow. Um, it's like a nice nude color, I want to call it. And I'm going to take a crown brush like this, just a flat brush. And I'm going to be applying that all over the lid, but not bringing it to the crease. Now I'm going to pack it on first. And then we can worry about blending. I'm going to go in into this color right here and it's a really pretty deep chocolate color with a little bit of like gold flex and I'm going to take a brush like this it's just a flat brush it's not any specific brand name um, anything that you have will work and I'm going to pack it on to the brush and then tap off any excess and I'm going to be applying that directly onto the crease Starting off very, very gently with a really gentle hand because we don't want to bring this too high up either. Now I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going to blend away the harsh line that we created at the top. Try not to bring it too high up because we are going to be applying a different color to the brow bone. I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that dark brown chocolate color and I'm going to reapply it to the outer crease just so I can intensify it a little bit more and honestly this is just a lot of blending and a lot of packing on the color because as we blend we do lose some intensity there so just go back a few times and apply the color well at least apply it if you want it to be really nice and brown 
and then just blend it out again and if you need more color just don't be afraid to re-add it um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we will finish off the eyes so now that we have everything blended I'm gonna go back into that beige color and I'm going to reapply it onto the lid these colors are extremely pigmented and so buttery like when you touch them with your fingers it's like oh it's so soft I love them now that we've done that I'm gonna go into a different um, eyeshadow by wet n wild um, you guys see me use this tons of times this is called creme brulee and it's one of their single eyeshadows it's amazing it's kind of close to this one but this one is a little bit more lighter and more like on the vanilla e side versus this one it's a little bit more brown nude this is the perfect highlight color I'm just going to use that brush since the colors won't mix too badly and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyebrows or the brow bone I should say And then I'm going to take my E40 Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to make sure that those colors are blended together just so we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Blackest Black, I believe, or just black. This is the best eyeliner I've ever, ever, ever used and it's so easy to work with. So, I will just be doing my regular wing liner, and then we can move on to the rest of the face. So now that I have my eyeliner, I'm going to move on to lashes. And today I'm going to try these out because I just got them in the mail today and they are so pretty. Here are these eyelashes here. Um, I didn't have these originally in the video where I had this makeup look. I actually had these on. And these are a little bit more natural. These are by Lotus Lashes. I do have a review on them. They are mink lashes, they are gorgeous, and they just last you so long. So I'm just going to use these today because I really want to try them out. And hopefully they look good. If not, then I'm just going to go back to those eyelashes. But these look so pretty. So there's one. And I will go back and fix the eyeliner. These look, they're pretty. But it almost looks like I have them on the wrong eye because, I don't know. Maybe it's just the style of them. They kind of flare out more towards the inner corner. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my other eyelash and then we can move on. So now that we have our face done, I'm going to move on to primer. And today I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever primer. And this is the Smoothing Primer. This is just going to help vanish all the pores and also because I got that nasty allergic reaction to whatever the hell I put on my face it's also going to help smooth those little bumps out and it's just going to give us a really nice canvas to work with so while that sets, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Primer or Under Eye Primer and I'm going to let this sit while we apply the foundation and this will just help our concealer be a little bit more smooth and it also helps me with creasing because it's not so dry 
so it doesn't crease on me as bad. So now we're going to move on to foundation. Today I'm going to be using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I am in the color Medium Dark Syracuse. And I'm just going to shake it before I apply it because it is a little bit on the runny, watery-ish consistency. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just going to shake that. And then I do like to use this with a beauty blender. This is not like the actual beauty blender, but it's a little sponge and it's already damp. So I'm going to go ahead and pump that to the back of my hand. And then go in with my beauty blender and then just blend everything out. I'm going to take just a little bit more and just run it down to my neck because this is um, just a little bit more darker. More darker, is that a word? It's a little bit darker than my actual skin tone. Or it's, I don't know. What do you guys think? I like it. This concealer is amazing. I will be having a review on this concealer for my Waste or Worth It Wednesday. So keep an eye on that. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Uh, powder and Corrective Yellow. And I'm just going to apply that to my eyes to prevent it from creasing. So now I'm going to bring back some warmth to my face because I'm looking quite pale right now. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep. If I can open it. And there we go. So I'm going to take a big brush. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. And I'm going to apply this all over my face to bronze it up and yeah, give it a little bit more warmth. So now I'm going to move in with blush and today I'll be using the Fit Me um, blush in medium coral. This is by Maybelline and you guys know that I love my coral blushes. And I'm going to take that on a brush like this. Um, again, this is by a brand called Six Plus which I got off of eBay a while ago and they're really good brushes. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to highlights and today I will be using the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. I haven't used this in a hot minute and I really like it, I just don't know why I don't use it. So I'm going to take that on a fan brush and then apply it to the cheeks and I just apply too much. That's okay. We shall blend it out. 
I like to bring this down here because when I'm looking forward, see how you can see that? Bam, bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take a big stippling brush and then just make sure that everything's blended so we don't look like too crazy. Okay, so now we're going to finish off the eyes once and for all. I'm going to go back into my Wet n Wild palette and I will be taking a pencil brush. And I think I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take this pencil brush and then dip it into that chocolate color. And then I'm just going to run that on my waterline. And then I'm just going to blend it out with any brush that you have. I'm just going to use the same one that we use for the crease. And blend it out. I like to bring mine pretty far down. But it's optional as far as how low you want it. I'm going to apply um, mascara to my bottom lashes using the Benefit Roller Lash. Today I did plump my lips using my Full Lips Lips Enhancer. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I will have it linked down below. Um, but I'm going to go in first with my Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in the color True Red. I'm going to use this to outline my lips as well as fill them in. So to finish off the lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Apple Crisp. It is so pretty and so pigmented. And you are done with this makeup look. Super simple and honestly, it's only a couple of colors. Now the lip is totally optional. Feel free to change it to whatever you like. This makeup look is very universal because you can literally wear any lipstick color and it will look great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!